boom we're here with a watch along welcome to the shock of watch along hope everything is going well for everybody looks like my man jack mangan is jumping on the call there he is matching hats today going with the matching hats twinsies twinsies how you doing my friend doing all right sir doing all right um it, it's kind of wild we have some of these kickoffs that are like 6 30 a.m and then we have the ones that are 1 30 p.m somehow on my this is central time for me yeah um yeah yeah kind of all over the place but you know here we are here we are indeed and uh we're about uh, i don't know eight minutes away from kickoff here uh let's look at the lineups real quick here uh before we get into this first of all how was your uh your friday friday's good and good today saturday so far yeah, absolutely. Actually, uh, my younger brother had been in Australia for a couple of years working on his doctorate, and I hadn't seen him basically since the pre-COVID times. Uh, oh, wow. and he actually yeah, yeah. just got back uh, for the holidays now, um, so he's uh, at my place right now. So that's been that's been nice catching up. Cool. Well, good. Good. Yeah, been quiet for me as well. Went uh, more house hunting again today. So uh, there you go. Nothing yet. No bites yet. But uh, we're getting there. So it's all good. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the lineups here. Uh, first, starting with the home team, which is St. Pauli. Um, Vasily in goal with the back four of Xander, uh, Zeros, Lawrence, and Pascareda, uh, Pascarado. Uh, let's see, Irvine, Smith, and Hartle in the middle with um, Kira in the attacking midfielder role with Matanovic and good old Guido Berksteller as a striker jack. I was gonna wear my ugly sweater today, but it's a little warm on the east coast, so I'm not gonna wear mine. Uh, thoughts on the lineup for St. Pauli? Obviously, Bergstaller is going to be the main target guy, but they have some playmakers there. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I think they're um, from a lineup perspective, they have some some of their guys, and we don't, you know, because yeah. of the things that have been going on in our team. So, um, yeah, obviously, I mean, the, the main thing, obviously, Bergstaller. Interesting to take a look at him again, uh, our old boy. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this one goes. But this is a, this is a big fixture for us today. Yeah, it certainly is a big one for us. Uh, lots on the line. We're playing top of the table. These next three games are huge for Schalke and Gramozis, who I believe is out with um, a positive test for COVID-19. Correct. So uh, let's see how the team you know, reacts with him not being there. I, I imagine Buskins is going to be leading the way along with, uh, with Gerald Asamoah. Uh, but let's look at the lineup because this is an interesting lineup. We have not only the injuries we knew about going into this game, but a few more popped up, including Boulter, who scored a couple goals last week. Uh, in goal, Frazzle once again. Uh, the back three does not change. We got Kaminsky, Itakura, and Tiao. Paulson in the holy midfielder role with Salazar and Drexler in the middle. And then Oeyan, Aiden on the left and right, respectively. Up top is where it changes, obviously. No Toroto with injury. Bulter out with one as well. Uh, so we got uh, Peringer getting to start in this one, which is good for him. And then Dadashov. Yes, you heard that correct. Uh Rufat Dadashov gets the start in this one. Um, the Azerbaijani gets the start in this one, uh, Jack. Uh, I don't know too much about him, so I'm not going to lie about it, but it should be interesting to see Peringer get the start in this one and see what he can do uh, coming off the heels with this great opportunity after, obviously, the last results last week. But now both Tarota and Bulter are out. It's time for him to step up. Yeah, I mean, the Bolter thing is huge because at least when you have, uh, if it's just Tarada, at least you have a guy like Bolter that you that you would figure can step up. And he showed that, you know, last week, um, yeah. you know, really kind of stepping into the light uh, once the, the offense was less focused on, you know, the kind of the main target man. Um, but, yeah, you definitely don't want to see them both out simultaneously. We, you know, we talked about it a lot this season, uh, you know, what the depth looks like in terms of, uh, you know, our attacking forwards. And it's it's not particularly great but you know this is a big game for Peringer. um we're gonna need him to uh to put on like a really good performance and he was he was fine last week i didn't think he was um you know i'm getting serious echo all of a sudden Let's, that's me that's me sorry, no worries. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um yeah i mean i think i thought he was fine last week putting a decent performance but not um i think to the level that we would obviously need um if we're probably going to get a result today so he needs he needs to really uh be the man which is which is a big ask um but yeah. uh that would be very helpful to our cause today if, if he had a uh a strong strong showing i agree 100 percent. and uh for those joining us on the watch long first thank you for joining us on uh shaka's ups and downs in this game against a big game against saint pauli but uh let me know in the chat i see chris is in the chat already he says gluka off let's get it done uh if you can hear the shaka music in the background let me know i'm just messing around with some things so I'll be curious to see if it's working or not on the live stream so let that let us know in the chat there. Uh, we're still about kick uh, a few minutes away from kickoff here. Uh, they're announcing the lineups as we speak. We already went through them. Uh, they're showing St. Pauli currently on the screen. We'll try to share that with you. you. Can not see it's hard to see. There you go. There's St. Pauli lineup. Uh, 
for those who can't watch the game. Uh, the game, we do have some news about uh, televised Schalke, which is rare these days, right? Um, the next game is going to be just like the first game that was televised against Hamburg on ESPN, so or ESPN Plus, I should say. So that's a couple weeks away here, so we do finally get to see some Schalke on TV for those on, in North America uh, who have been longing for it. Uh, so that, that's just some news on the horizon there. But uh, it looks like uh, Jake's in the chat as well. Torsten as well. How you guys doing? Welcome to the chat. Hope everything is going well with you guys, Jack. Uh, thoughts? Any more? Any final thoughts here before kickoff here? No, just, you know, I'm glad that we at least have that, that Drexler's Alitzar combo um, centrally. Uh, we, we got that back last week. I think it once again paid dividends and you in showed why I think you and I probably favor that kind of pairing. Right. Um, and so, you know, in a game where we have obviously, you know, the uh, the missing players that we already talked about, particularly up front, at least we have kind of a, a fairly ideal um, central core, which should be helpful. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, those two, I'm curious to see what they're going to do today. Uh, Torsten's already predicting uh, a victory for the away team, which is us, two to one. So let's hope that we get uh, that result correct. Um, yeah, Salazar and Drexler in the middle will be important. Uh, we saw the end of last game how Drexler looked like he may have picked up an injury. Obviously, nothing to worry about because uh, he got the start in this one. So, uh, but Salazar, pretty a really good game last week, and if he can bounce back, and we need him to be big in this game because our two big horses are out in the top. Um, still, the rest of the complement is there, but he needs to be the the, the talisman today. Uh, and really, hopefully, a big performance from the two wing backs as well, Iden and Oyan in this one. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this game uh, unfolds. Obviously, a raucous uh, home crowd for St. Pauli. Yeah, and, you know, once again, like, Ranful ended up kind of redeeming himself and had a pretty strong second half after, you know, the mistake that led to that first uh, goal. But, um, yeah, I mean, the fact that you have, I think, what everyone would agree, hopefully, is, is you know, the ideal wingback pairing of Oyan and Aiden. Um, they're going to also be very important in, in terms of chance creation today as well. I mean, so, yeah, look for Aiden, Oyan on the wings, and then Salazar centrally to kind of be um, the main sparks, I feel, for us. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as Torsten says, Salazar is our rising star. He is. Uh, we, we need a big form from him, but I think the defense will kind of have to come up huge. I think communication right. between those three and Frazzle. Salad star. Important. How about that? Salad star. Hey, yeah. oh. see, see, that's why they keep me around. It's, it's, that, it's, it's that kind of wordplay. <laughs> that's what you're looking for. Oh, beautiful. See, I love that. See, the, the wordplay there. Can't compete with that. All right, let's change my screen there and get the game uh, ready to get begin soon here. Uh, looks like they're uh, doing out there out in the field doing their normal, you know song and, uh, and uh, lineups and all that stuff so hey say torsten likes her salad star there you go there you go but yeah as i was saying before the, the back three has to come up huge with a long frazzle the communication has to be impeccable i think because one we know guido Burksteller likes to toe that line right he's going to be off sides or we're gonna, he's going to try to be off sides and catch a snapping so it, it's gonna happen there's there's gonna be a situation today where he times a run absolutely like you know perfect. second inch perfect and, and gets in behind um, because that's the kind of poetic justice that, that seems to be coming our way so often when we uh, yeah. play against some of our former uh, former team members. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and he obviously is the main goal threat, you know, up there in the goal charts for the for the league this year. They got a they got a playmaker which is, is escaping me at the moment. My phone's being occupied, so I can't look up the, the league assist man. But they got some playmakers on this team. St. Pauli is legit. Um, they were humbled a couple weeks ago when they lost to Darmstadt for nothing. But other than that, they've had a pretty remarkable season so far. They look like a sure bet at present to make it to the, to the Bundesliga about time, right? But uh, tall task for us, Jack. Uh, we got to be perfect. Yeah, we. I mean, if you're going to take on a team that's basically top of the table, yeah, you're going to have to put in a, you know, a very strong performance. And uh, that's going to be obviously more difficult to accomplish when you have some of the absences that we have. So... Um, yeah, it's going to be a game where collectively they need to kind of rise to the occasion. And, and you know, some of those other guys that get the opportunities in this one uh, step up to the plate. But, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I do like our squad in general. Um, I, I, as we've said throughout the season on the pod, I mean, I think Schroeder did a really nice job with the resources he had in the yeah. summer window to kind of rebuild this team and, and kind of clean house and bring people in. And um, I like the people we have. I think the question all season has largely been um, a question of, of – you know, the, the man at the helm and whether or not he's giving uh, the people what they need um, in order to kind of maximize the, the potential of the squad. Uh, so, 
we'll see how it goes in this one. Gramatis obviously not available because of the uh, the COVID test, and and some other players not available as well. So, um, you know, di- different group out there to some extent, but uh, time will tell, my friend. You gotta love technology, as I'm trying to show everybody in, in uh, re- re- buffers or whatever. So, uh, I was trying to show is that the crowd's got the, a bunch of sparklers out tonight and stuff like that. There's Guido Burksell, number nine. Looks like a different person, actually. Honestly, looks like he's lost some weight. Maybe that's part of why he's been scoring a lot so so much lately. So, uh, I, I would love your opinion on these Sao Paulo jerseys because, generally speaking, I feel like you like. How would you feel about a brown kit? I I would I would probably brown. say no, but I'll tell you what. I think these are actually kind of clean. They are, and they I, are very. I don't, I don't mind them. No, no, I, I, the one brown jersey I would probably wouldn't mind having it would be a St. Pauli one. I think it, it does look very clean. Those look very nice. Um, yeah, it, it seems to have, get it done. I mean, for the most part, if someone has a brown jersey, you're gonna be like, I don't know about that, but uh, you know, it'd be nice if Dortmund were because it makes sense for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I digress. You know, it's a nice change of pace. I mean, like as much as I love the royal blue, I mean, there's plenty of teams that have, uh, you know, blue is a, is a primary color in the, uh, yeah, in the branding. So, ah, the referees are shaking hands, getting ready for the game here. Should be an interesting one. Uh, it's so funny because we talked about last week how after uh, the second goal and uh, Buskins just went wild on the on the bench. And luckily, we found the gift. Someone someone made the gift of it perfectly. It just I forgot how he like knocked so many people in the way on the way to Schroeder. Uh, hopefully, see more of that today because that means he's in a in a we're in a scoring mood at that point. Yeah, absolutely. I think Keita Burkstar looks a little younger now these days. I don't know. Score some goals, get a haircut, lose some weight. So, you know, look younger. Right. I don't know. Stopped playing at Schalke in the midst of the crisis. <laughs> That'll probably help the uh, the gray hairs as well. That is probably stress true. levels. You know, that is probably very true. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see here. Game's getting ready to kick off. It looks like we are the ones kicking off today. Immediate long diagonal from Malik Chow to the left. And it turns into a St. Pauli counter instantly. Yep. And an early foul potentially for Koei Dakura there. Yeah, that looked like a foul. And ooh, whoa, whoa. The the uh the official running over and seemingly very upset. Yes. No no card. What was that about? Referees is uh amped up today. Big game. He's amped up. Eh, shoulder to shoulder. I mean, it was rough. It was rough. But the free kick outside the box, just near the sideline on the on the left hand side of Frazzle. Let's see what gets done here. Is that Burksell already offsides? No. <laughs> As my game decides to buff once again, right at the Z- free kick. Xander on the weak side there, like that is worrying me. Yes, he's going to be the main threat from that right-hand side, I think. And during the pregame talk, they were looking at him as a, a possible threat for Shaka. Shaka needs to keep it wide today down the flanks between Aiden and Oyan. Oh, that's that's a heavy foul as well. Jeez, that's got that's got to be a yellow card. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just behind you, but that's a that's a foul. There you go. There you go. I mean, I think I thought Koei Dakura's was kind of borderline because it was kind of cynical. This yeah. was just like, yeah, beyond. I, mean, I think this referee's gonna play a lot. And it's big impact in this match today. I think he's gonna be handing out some cards. I believe. Does Sam Pauli have like brick like right next to the grass on the sideline? What is that? Why would you have a? It almost looked like there was like like maybe that was an ad board or something, and I just saw it incorrectly. It almost looked like there was like like brick or something on the. Uh... Trying to wait to see replay, see if I can see it myself. Oh, takes him out. He, he, it might be, um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's not brick, but it looks like maybe like hard plastic or something uh, along the sideline. Oh, nice footwork. Be one of those games where I'm delayed from you, Jack. Sorry, yeah, I'll try to. Uh, no, no, that's good. N- not, not go crazy if there's some. You're gonna have to be our be, talisman uh, today, Jack. All right. Yeah, no, Zalatz are dancing kind of around the edge of the box. Nice footwork. Didn't go anywhere ultimately, and uh, now it's gotten recycled all the way back. There he is again on the dribble, though. So I mean, 
three minutes in and Zalatar once again looking pretty lively. Uh, and he looked up for it last week. Um, yes, he did. Like from the from the beginning, looked like he was you know in the mood. So we'll see. Giveaway from him though, as I say that. Curse of the commentator. <laughs> Bergstaller advancing in the box. That's what he does. Where you are time wise, just so I can, so I know where you are at. Uh, about three twenty. Oh yeah, you're like half half minute before me. Oh okay. There we go. I know the problem. That's what the problem was. Yeah, it looks like today we're both rocking the uh, Asociales Schalker hat, courtesy of Hammer und Schlagel. Definitely get your hats if you like those hats. Boy, Nick makes some sick gear. I'll tell you that. Foul there. This, I feel like there's going to be a lot of fouls in this game, not just because the referee feels like he's going to be handing them out left and right, but I think both teams are trying to negate each other just by slowing them down. If, especially for us, we're going to need to do that with St. Pauli. They're so freewheeling and high scoring, it seems, this season. We need to kind of take that momentum away from them, take that flow away so we can uh, make it a stop and start type of game. What do you think? I mean, this, this may be somewhat complimentary to us, but this is kind of like a promotion six-pointer to some extent. So, I mean, it, it makes yeah. sense that it's going to be, you know, physical and they're, they're like going to be that. going for it immediately. So Jack with the words today, promotional six pointer. I like that. I like that. I mean, well, once again, difference in the table between these two teams at the moment. And I think, I think most people would argue that they're more of a lock than we are. Certainly we have a lot of work to do, but um, yeah, this is uh could be a big one at the end of the season. You got, I mean, it's important to win all the games, right. But especially yeah. when you're going up against people that you're probably directly competing for places with. As Derek, as Eric says, a double win would be fantastic today. <laughs> good morning, Charlie. Or good afternoon. What am I saying? Good morning. I'm so used to these games being so early in the game for us. It's PM for everyone. Late start today in uh, in Germany in in Hamburg. You're seeing quick passing from St. Pauli right now. Yeah, a lot of um, almost give and go type situations yep. where they play a quick ball in and they follow their own pass in and try to get in behind real quickly and receive it back. I'm curious to see how St. Pauli play because I haven't watched much of them this season. I watch, you know, extended highlights and stuff, but watching a, a, a thorough game with them, I haven't got a chance to yet. And so, I'd be curious to see. Obviously, they're, they're very well organized. Hold on, here, here we go, dude. If you are if you aren't caught up yet, this is uh, this is. <laughs> I'm not for, up the, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll wait until you oh, catch I see, up. I see, Here's I see. what happened. Yep. Bergstaller offsides. Yep. Guess who's offside? <laughs> that is a that is a, not a disallowed goal. Just Me? was a goal in the first place because Guido Bergstaller. It, it took less less than eight minutes for uh, for that old issue of his career. It's had luckily for it's us. It's something with him and Schalke, which you gotta love. I think I'm finally caught up. I just, I don't, I mean, once again, like I, I'm probably jinxing this. He's going to make some sort of great timed run, but like, I don't understand how, how it's so difficult for him to just be aware of where he is relative to the Yeah, back it's one line. thing if I the mean, defense is playing great, you know, um, offside trap, but most of the time it's not, he's just not paying attention. He just doesn't is, make an effort to actually like get back on side enough. So he just gets yeah. caught off in those situations because then something will quickly happen and he hasn't enough time to react and get himself back in position. And clearly he's doing a lot better than he did with us because he's got a lot of goals this year. I mean, he's probably had more goals this year than the, the whole time he did with us, but um, still, yeah. that's a still a problem. I mean, he definitely trailed off in his time um, at Schalke. To be fair, I think the offense was kind of trailing off as a team at that point anyway. But yeah. um, I, I thought, you know, his first couple of seasons, he was actually quite good for, I mean, what didn't he have like close to like 10 goals in the second half of the season after we signed him in that January window? That is and, true. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I thought, I mean, I, I, I rated him to some extent you know when he was when he was with us but um you know yeah i'm glad he's moved on to a better situation it is you know kind of reviving his career is entirely the wrong way to phrase it that's not what i meant at all but you know what i'm, you know what I'm saying kind of yes, getting back into um the flow of things and, and finding good form again no i agree 100 percent. 
nice move by him as I say that. Yeah, some intricate stuff here. Um, yeah. Given Pauli, goes. Yeah, runs. there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of off ball movement for them, and they're they're doing a good job, um, kind of manipulating us out of our shape. at sometimes. Nice cross pass by Drexler over to I then. I'm probably behind you still. I'm at uh, like eight fifteen. Okay, I'm two seconds behind you now. All right. I'm curious to see this Dadashov guy because I know nothing about him. Um, I'm curious if anyone in the chat knows anything about Dadashov. Uh, let us know about him because, you know, relatively yeah. unknown to the starting 11. 30 year old Azerbaijani, and outside of that, I don't have a whole lot for you. So he's got dark hair. He wears shirts sometimes. <laughs> Always a good thing when you're on the pitch. Yeah, it's automatic yellow, yellow cards. I'm so used to watching Berksall wear number 19, too. So seeing him wear that number nine, maybe that was the whole problem the whole time. Should have worn number nine. Drexler hobbling around. Yeah. That's not, that's not ideal. I think it's a result of last week, right? We saw him go out injured. Uh, maybe it's a, it's a niggling injury that keeps continuing on with him, and maybe it's uh, like a hamstring or something like that. Hopefully not. Hopefully someone just stepped on his toe or something. Foul there by Kaminsky on Guido Bergsteller. I just ran into him. It's all right. And Charlie, to answer your question, no, we did not lose yet. We're holding our own so far. So, if yeah, if Drexler has to come off, I mean, Donnie Lotz is an option. You have a Drizzy as well. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing a Drizzy, obviously, uh, in my opinion. Again, because we, we talked about how Latza and Paulson kind of do the similar things. Um, yeah, Latza's our captain, but um, Idrizi maybe has a little bit more flair offensively that he could provide with provide for us, and we would need it in this game without the top two guys up there. Speaking of uh, Kanapish Shmita mids, you see that uh, Bazda one goal? Oh, what yesterday. a goal. What a goal. I forget where he's playing over in Turkey, but uh, that was a sensational goal by Chan Bazda one. And I mean, Harit's been playing pretty well lately, too, for Marseille. So, just saying. <laughs> yeah, you know, all the all the talk about with the injuries that we already had going into this week and then all the injuries we picked up this week and people getting COVID, it wasn't didn't seem like a good sign, right? Everything is pointing against us. But maybe these are the kind of situations you need where the team comes together and actually starts playing better, right? A lot of teams you see when they go down to 10 men, they sometimes play better than they had when they had 11. So maybe it's a situation like this where we can rally around all this, and there goes Gita Brookseller. Um, but we'll see. It's, it's going to be a tough game for sure. Some probably just seeming to play with a little bit more um, in intensity and Intense. desire at the moment. And like yeah. they, they're, they're, they seem to really kind of be pushing it, um, and we're kind of – sleepwalking through this one a little bit at the moment yeah and i don't know if it's just us being trying to weigh out the uh early momentum or early um onslaught from st Pauli, but uh yeah a little too uh hits the side netting there yeah it's, it's played in kind of on the right shoulder and i want to say frazzle had that him. but i have to look at the replay to see if really he read Here's that the reverse well. angle you're looking for Thank yeah you. frazzle had that absolutely yeah. covered he was he yeah. was sitting on the post yeah you ask and you shall receive right Absolutely. So all those in the chat, tell us where you're watching the game from, where you're watching the watch along from. Uh, I know there's several here on the East Coast. I'm sure some on the West Coast as well. Uh, let us know in the chat. Feels like Frazzle's shirts and shorts get smaller and smaller every week. Eventually yeah, have we, shorts. We're already just we're already struggling to complete you know, even two or three passes in possession in the midfield. Um, you know, they're, they're swarming the ball a little bit and we're, I don't know if our spacing's ideal right now. There's some. Yeah. They're, they're pressing the ball or pressing each, each player. Really. It's almost like a man on defense, but as soon as we get the ball, they press them and causes us to do a quick turnover. It's what we usually do against the opposition, but it's man, it's man possession right now. 
minus the back four. There we go. All right, ball wide at right. I then looking for oh, good pass. Oh, hey, foul against Schalke on the box. Free kick to St. Pauli. Ericsson Atlanta. Okay, the deep south. Home of the world champion Atlanta Braves. Just got to throw it out there. Just Chris is in St. Louis. <laughs> Jake's in Wisconsin. We're all over the, U the U.S. Hmm. I wonder where Virginia Canapin is from. How you guys doing? Brian. Brian and team. I wonder if Brian's over there at the uh, Donner Bistro watching the game. I haven't been there in a minute. Yeah, Chris, if we could actually uh, find a way to reliably watch Schalke games, I'd, I'd, I would love to do another uh, watch party down at Amsterdam Tavern. But also, every time I go out of state to uh, watch a Schalke match, uh, we end up losing horribly. So uh, that's been a jinx for a long time. Matt's over in Western New York. All right. Covering the U.S. very well. <laughs> Yeah, again, two, three passes in a row seems to be our max in terms of passing, stringing passes together. Um, but we're doing good to break up some passes soon as they get into our zone, which is a, a good sign defensively at least. But we still need to create more opportunities going forward. I then was a turnover there. That's a dangerous ball. On. Ooh, yes. Actually, being a little bit deep, but I thought that might actually find Bergstaller on the far post for a second there. Yeah, I mean, the momentum very much with Sao Paulo at the moment. Um, oh, was that uh, like Giolias or something? Or wait, 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 how do you pronounce that? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was recommended to me last time I was down there for that for that watch party, and I hadn't had that before. I was just pretty solid. Oh, the deli sandwich you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's an Italian spot. I think it's like geolias or something like that i forget okay. what it's called um they have like a i forget what it is it's like a hot salami sandwich or something like that and it's, it's pretty nuts okay well julio sounds italian so I'll, I'll give it to you i'm i'm absolutely butchering the name i know i am but we butcher names on this podcast day in and day out so it's okay yeah i was being told about that at the last watch party is that while we were at amsterdam tavern and so i was yeah. on my way and i kind of drove home immediately after and so i was on my way out of the city i'm like let's stop there before i head out and just have something for the road but we are in the 16th going to 17th minute so far still zero zero uh interesting game thus far Let's uh, look at the statistic up to this point. If my computer wants to work. There we go. Two shots to one in favor of St. Pauli. Um, possession 64 to 36 in favor of the home team. Uh, pass accuracy. They're passing, like we said, has been pretty good. It's 83%. And we're we're barely at 60% right now. Which, uh, we're struggling to do that. And then fouls. We're four times the amount of fouls that they do. Four to one at this point. Um, and offsides. We're remarkably tied. 1-1. One, one. Drexler wins a corner though. Yeah, nice, nice play. I'm at uh yeah, I'm at, I don't know where you are. I'm at like 1640. Okay, farther, further behind you, Jack. It was a 1630 when you said that. Well, Chris, you're you're a responsible, you're a responsible driver, and and of course we endorse that on the Shock America Pod. So that's right. Uh, totally understandable. Speaking of which, if I drink my coffee here fast enough, I can get in a, get a beer here during a game. Might need it with all these bufferings with my with my game. Hopefully your stream's going well, Jack. Knock on wood. It's been fine. I was actually having trouble getting it up in the first place. Um, it, it, was, it just wasn't loading for me for some reason. Um, I had to like look, like you know restart the app a couple times before it finally connected. It was one of those things where it's like you per you purchase the stream and then it's just like it's not available. And I'm like, it, it is though. I know it is. Stop saying that. <laughs> Uh, it's almost like the blue screen of death or whatever. It's just like, yes, I know. Come on, stop. Oh, I lost my feed now. We have a uh, Oweyan corner about to be taken from the left-hand side. Rain starting to fall. 
kind of overhits that. Doesn't really find anybody. Um, so I'm probably back in possession now. A little bit wasteful uh, by Oyan standards, I would say. Um, we know that he strikes a, a great set piece, great dead ball, and that was yeah. not one of his uh, his better corners, I think. But we're going to need those set piece abilities today, uh, both he and Salazar, I think, because they're going to have to be pinpoint, right? Kaminsky's going to have to come up huge. Tiao hit these hit them on target here. That's a nice ball too. See, yeah, man. Bergstahl keeps drifting like in behind off the right shoulder, and they keep playing these like diagonals um, from kind of like deep left across the field, and they haven't fully connected on those yet. So to some extent, it's like, yeah, you know, if they want to just keep playing long balls, I'm fine with it. But those have looked um, kind of mildly dangerous so far. I'm kind of a little bit they're, concerned about that trend. They're probing our defense at the moment, and you know, we're we're catching it so far. But one of these days, if we're if we're not paying attention, you know, we lose track of. Uh, Guido, for a moment, he's going to catch us behind. So we need to be mindful of that all game long. No, nice low cross by Solids are easily cleared away, though. So I'm at 19. Oh, what can I see? Uh, 1918. All right. Yeah, you're ahead of me now. So we're fine. Sweet. That's right. I buffer enough where I, I go behind you anyway. <laughs> What's that guy's name? Pas uh, Pasarda or something? Or Pascarada, Pascarada yeah. or something? Yeah, he's he's been um, pretty influential on this one so far. Yeah. Oh, good pass for the top. This is what it, there it is again. It, once again, it's the uh, yeah. There, <laughs> there it is. There's the Bergstaller goal. It, it's literally. Oh. I, it, it, I just said that like what a minute ago. He didn't that celebrate. Be, but he I'm didn't saying, celebrate. Like, yes. That's a nice event. But like the over the top diagonal, the Bergstaller running in behind. Like I just said that that was starting to concern me. They've done that a couple times and yeah. That's, I mean, I don't know. I, I understand it's it's more difficult when you're on the pitch to like maybe see some of these things, but like it's always frustrating when when something happens a couple of times. I feel like they should be a little bit more alert to it. Like this is coming, and um, uh, yeah, he's you know he's on. And that was really poor by Kaminsky. Who was that? Kaminsky? No, it was oh, Oyan. That was Oyan tracking back to cover it. Yeah. Fraza probably should have had that, but yeah. We just said, like we just said, it's like, you know, you keep mindful where he's at because they're going to go for that all game long, and there it is. This is the angle I want to see, the reverse angle, just so I can see from Frazzle's perspective. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great shot. Frazzle got a mid on it, probably is going to want that one back, I think, but yeah. Well done from Bergie. And classy of him not to celebrate there. He just, uh, Kept his arms down. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always, I, I, for some reason, I always really appreciate when players do that as long as it yeah. wasn't a, um, like acrimonious departure or something. I know some people are just like, you should celebrate against everybody every time you get an opportunity to. And I, I totally respect that view as well. But I personally yeah. just always appreciate it when they, yeah, I forget who said it, but they're like, you know, hey, it's so rare that you get to score. So why not celebrate every time you score? But I, I agree with you. You know, I can see it both ways for sure. Yeah, uh, well, there you go. That was coming. Um, I mean, not to say that there were a ton of super clear-cut chances in the first 20 minutes prior to that, but um, certainly the balance of play in Sao Paulo's favor, um, and, and they seemed easily the more likely to score. That's a mistake. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How did he miss that? Salazar. That's a horrible mistake at the back from Sao Paulo that Salazar was alert to, ends up getting on it. And uh, Skyzer got the, the bar. shot for whatever did really well, and then uh, Salazar came from behind. Oh, why did he try that kind of finish? He, that is a, I think he maybe, yeah, maybe he just got away from that one. I just, I'm yeah. surprised that he tried to do that. He just had to push it yeah. into the back of the goal, and he went for the spectacular there. He went for like an, like an upper 90, almost like curler kind of situation, which was just not necessary there. No, it isn't. It isn't. Like sometimes you need to do something crazy to make a goal, beautiful goal like that. Here we That's go. Again. A, oh, dude, here we. All right. right. That was that no, that was that was better play though. Nice kind of overlapping run there through ball back to box. back good plays there. Yeah. We're we're getting back into the action. Hey, there's, so a, there's a quick response. Uh, I mean, that's what we did yes. last you know, last game as well. You know, responded pretty much right away, got back into the game, and and um, you know, you see the pressure is higher suddenly from Schalke. Um yeah. 
putting pressure on them at the back, causing turnovers immediately. Like, look, oh man, and that's some. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, pretty obvious through ball available there that was not played. I feel like and we gave the ball away um, after tur- forcing another turnover, but. But like I said, good response from the team. Uh, immediately, two waves in a row of, uh, of attack. Let's see them keep up this intensity, cause more turnovers, and lead to these counter goals, hopefully. Well, hopefully that wakes us up a little bit, because like I said, just, I mean... Yeah. The energy levels were quite different, and then suddenly after that goal, now that, that you're seeing some, um, some higher lines of confrontation, pressure and numbers coordinated. Offsides. I think we need to do better on the possession here. We're, we've been struggling in that department, and it shows that St. Pauli's is doing what they want with the ball. And they're playing with a tent, like you said earlier, which with a team of this caliber, we cannot – I mean, they're going to they're gonna be clinical if we keep giving them the opportunities. That's what you want, though. That's Oweyan on the – okay, nice, yep. nice ball in, not too far yes. away. Nice defensive clearance, but that was that was better. Cycling it out to the uh, the guy that you want playing those for the most part. So, Kaminsky with a foul once again. Kaminsky's John, man. Kaminsky's got some attitude in this one. He's not. He's he's up for this game. You can feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, once again, though, uh, not a whole lot happening from data Shav or Piringer, um, in this one, or, you know, first 25 minutes or so, um, yeah. gonna need them to make a bigger impact on this game. I feel like if we're going to come back into it, um, you know, created a couple opportunities, um, without them, but you're already seeing how much of a focal point Bergstahler is, uh, for the Zampali attack. And we're not getting that out of our, uh, attacking duo at the moment. Um, it's a yellow card from Mac Chow, as I say that, I believe. Which I feel like is kind of harsh for what that was. Yeah. Yeah, it was just offsides. Again, good, quick give and go passing, looking for that that cutter back door. Oh, this is showing the goal here. Oh, uh, Guido, Guido, Guido. Oh, on the box, cleared away. You know, kind of to your point last week with Malik Tiao and his his forays forward. We don't see much in this game. This is really like the first foray for him getting up into the offensive third. Go. What's up? Good attempt there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, last couple of minutes starting to get some get some joy down the left hand side there. Um, which I mean, that's I mean, once again, that's ideally where you'd like to be finding that because it's Obi on and, and we know what he can do. But that's uh. Yeah, post post that San Paulo goal, we're we're suddenly finding a way to exploit that. Trexler seems to be doing better. Whatever it was earlier, though, he was hobbling. He seems to be walking a little bit more. Sure. Yeah, yeah, though. he was he was hobbling, wasn't he? Yeah. Throw in for St. Pauli on the left hand side. That's a deep throw. That's dangerous. Oh, that, that, that was a blind back pass from Ida. I mean, not a back pass, but he Ida Kura, I don't know if he really was looking when he played that. Yeah. That was almost a dangerous giveaway. I don't know if you are a fan of football manager, but I got finally got football manager 22 and 
So I'm like, how do I send up the lineup in this one and go back three, back four? I should really try to get into that at some point. I am it's addicting. I, I've never played it because I'm just generally not like a big like PC gamer kind of guy. Um, but yeah, I mean I I also don't know if I have the attention span for those kinds of games, but I, I respect the people that play it and I, I watch people that, that stream that occasionally and find it fascinating. Ooh, St. Pauli nearly scored there. I mean, big shot came from inside the box, went over the bar, but I mean Frazzle was scrambling. Oh. Number 17 there. That's a really that's a really I think clever, Frostle got it. That that's a really clever approach and, and way to hit that in stride with that kind of power. That was very yeah. inventive, I feel like. That was that was nice. Yeah. And you can see why they're top of the table. They're very intuitive. They're very they know where each other are. There's they play with intent. Short corner from San Pauli. Yep. Right onto the top of the box. Oh, look, at that, look at that passing. Yeah, that, that was that was that was a set piece routine yeah. for sure. Yeah. Didn't come to anything. A little no. bit uh timing slightly off there. But, well but there's a lot of movement. Ooh, there's a lot of movement with St. Pauli. There's no stagnant like us. Where we, when we see we go on the defensive third, we a lot of standing around. No one really making runs. Everyone on the team is moving around here. Sign of a good team. Jack, do you hear any music in the background? Uh, I do. Yes. Okay. I have for a few minutes. There's, they've been saying no though. Ooh. Dangerous corner. Yeah, Frazzle has to deal with that one. Went right, basically well. right into his uh, his six yard box oh. there, pretty centrally in front of the goal. Good clear, good clear. Let's see if we can get to halftime here. We're still we're on the thirtieth minute here. Still a good fifteen minutes away here, but uh, yeah, need to do better here. We're pretty much eleven behind the ball inside the midfield line. Curious to see what the stats are right now and see if they've changed much at all. Shots are surprisingly five to four, but I don't buy it. St. Paul is still passing in the 80s, 80 percent, while we're still meddling in the 60s. Pascarada. Pacerada. Sorry, there's no S. I'm adding S's to people's names. Shock America. We butcher names. That's our motto. <laughs> I thought it was the version of the uh, of the C there that has the S pronunciation, though. But that shows what I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. In the way that like, like Junior Kaisaran did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cold and rainy day in uh, St. Pauli. Come on, Sky. Dry off your cameras. <laughs> yeah, last, I would say, I don't know, last five minutes ago, I feel like we've kind of dropped back into that rhythm that we were in pre-goal. Um, yeah. With not as much uh, happening um, offensively, yeah, not as much happening defensively as well for us, kind of off the ball. Um, it's an interesting goalkeeper kit. It is all purple. It's got like the tie, like almost like tie dye like spots on it though at points, the shoulder and. Throw for St. Pauli on the right-hand side, deep in their own end. Looks like a good steady rain coming down now. A lot of ball bouncing. They're having a heading contest, it seems like. The ball going back and forth. Really hard to gauge how well the strikers are playing for Schalke, Peringer, and um, and the new man. It's because we haven't had many opportunities in, in the offensive third. There's Dashadov right there. Um, Dadashov, excuse me. 
but yeah, the, the service has been lacking. We've seen a couple of plays by by Oyan on the left that were pretty decent. Uh, I then I almost said Bazdawin. I then coming down the right hand side had a couple opportunities, but it's been turning it over and leading to some counterattacks. All right, good back checking there. Foul. Itakura getting way up high. Those of you just joining us, we're in the 34th minute here. Uh, guess who scored the only goal of the game? Guido Bergstaller was not offsides, though he has been offsides in this game. Here they come again. Uh, good, good block by Itakura. 17's been popping up everywhere this game so far. He had that nice shot that Frazzle had to save from the top. Mm -hmm. Kira, that's his name, Kira, Kira. I think Matanovic is the one that's got the eight assists in this game, so in this league so far. Let's see. Nope, that wasn't him. All right. Throwing for St. Pauli once again, this time in our end. Yeah, and once again, number 23, um, left back for St. Pauli Pagarada. Um, been very yeah. impressed with him as well. Um, oh, here they got a nice play by them. Good block. Was that Kaminsky or Itakura? Oh, Brooks are offsides. Hey, what do you know? Oh, he's he was on. He was, yeah, I think he was absolutely on there. Yeah. Should be a corner for them. It should. But we'll take it. Well, Absol when you have enough of a reputation, sometimes those calls just go against you <laughs> from, from, yeah. from assumptions that are made. That's right. Oh, it's Guido. Offsides. Surprised they didn't call that on the goal, too. This is uh, certainly the top spiel of uh, the Svita Liga this, this week. Number one versus, well, I, I say that, but that's maybe for us. Top of the table versus wherever we are now. We're, we were six coming into this game after all the results that happened last week. Yeah, I believe so. Currently yeah, yeah. We, we actually mentioned that uh, that earlier, that Chan Bazduan goal from yesterday. We were talking about that. Um, yeah. Not that one banger suddenly justifies our, our take on Boz one, but I think we were both disappointed um, that he yeah. wasn't uh, in the team this year. I mean, once again, there was several of those young guys. Like a Drizzy was one, right? And Flick was another. But yep. Um, I mean, like we we kind of figured that Boz one was going to step into a little bit of a larger role. Ultimately, you know, with the uh, the recruiting that took place and the guys that we brought in, I understand why that happened. But I was still kind of surprised we moved on from him. Yeah, because um, I think there's a lot to like from Bazawan because he seems to have, be very composed with the ball. A lot of the guys, when there's pressure on them, they turn it, they tend to turn it over, and not Chan Bazawan. Now he was he consistent, no, but we saw from that goal with Bashiktas. I mean, he that was a that was a screamer. Uh, so it's hopefully he gets some good minutes there. Was it a loan? I believe, or was it a sell? I don't remember. I think it's a loan. Hopefully, it's a loan. No screamers from. Uh... I'm at Katushi though yet, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm aware, maybe I missed something. I was gonna do it, you know, uh, an update of Katuchu wash on the uh, on the pod if something of note happened, but I don't think we've had much uh, going on yet. No. All right, ball down right hand in the corner. Can we get a corner? No, with the throw in for Shalka. Good defensor by Pacarada. Pacarada? Pacarada? Mr. P. <laughs> Deep thrown by Aiden into the box. Foul. What was that? I don't know. Was that, about, that was on Piringer? Yeah, looks like it. Or was it? Or was it a bad throw? Oh, yeah. Did I didn't cross the line? Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, 
Miss those Weston McKinney long throw-ins, man. Yep. He's been doing it for Juventus this season. Very, like, small and, like, generally not that important ability to have as a footballer. But um, if you do have something in your squad that can pull that off, it is actually more useful than you'd expect at times. Yes, especially in late in the game. You can throw it deep to the box. Cleared away by Schalke. Again, I'm, I'm, I've am i been very impressed with St. Bowley. Ooh. Yeah, Bergstahl in the mood, man. Yeah, He's he just is. ripping some of these. What do we we said a couple weeks ago? It was like Bergstahl is going to get a hat trick against us. That's still possible. Um, but like I said, I've, I've been pretty impressed with St. Pauli so far because offensively, they're not static at all. Their guys are moving around all the time, uh, really keeping the defense on their toes, which is kind of what we've been screaming for from Schalke on the offensive end because we seem almost way too predictable at times. Uh, just staying in place and making it really easy for the defense to, to mark you. Oh, wow. It's another short corner. Guess who? And, Bergstaller. Uh, yeah. Guy kind of rolls to the top of the box and then whips it in real kind of quick. And it's just kind of a glancing header to the uh, the back post for Bergie there. Freaking Bergstaller once again. Quick set play, and then Bergstaller unmarked. Who was marking him there? Couldn't tell. Malik Tiao's in there. It's not, it's not a great effort from Frazzle there, but also, no. um, on, yeah, also very, very curious that you have, um, you know, the main threat for San Pauli able to move around in the box sort of unmolested. That's interesting. Um, I yeah. would probably have somebody keep a body on him. That was me. Uh, I don't know where the breakdown was there, but that's uh, that's pretty poor. I mean, he's been their main goal-scoring threat this year, and he's got two goals. Immediate turnover. Not the reaction we wanted to see. Here they come. St. Pauli on the counterattack on the right-hand side. Xander looking for the cross. He gets it. Ooh, nice defense there. I think that's Bird. our – it's a goal kick, yeah. Here's a goal kick. Good. Kira there. Oh, maybe, no, maybe it's – I take it back. Maybe it's not. I thought, I thought he actually just – I thought he reached for that and knocked it out himself. Maybe that was off us. No, it's Tiao with a good defense there. All right, we need to escape here out of the first half. Five minutes to go. Bergy on a hat trick. Yes. Um, this is uh, this is dangerous time right here. Uh, yes. they, they've looked good from these set pieces uh, and these corner routines already. Um, and uh, the pressure is continuing to be put on here with five minutes to go until halftime. Um, would really like to get in at 2-0 if possible. And we've cleared the ball away, which is good. Referee called the foul against Schalke. Got a St. Pauli player on the ground. Just hanging out. <laughs> yes, yeah, pretty poor half overall for us. Um, yeah. a, a brief period of maybe 10 minutes post for St. Pauli goal where we suddenly looked alive and very much in the game uh, and competing. Um, and outside of that, it's been mostly one-way traffic, particularly, um, I don't know, what would you say? 80% 30, of the time. Yeah, I mean, like a little bit after the 30th <laughs> minute. I mean, like yeah, most of the last yeah. 10 minutes of this one, I'd say. Um, you got Kira and Pacarada staying over the ball here. They've been both most of the influential players for uh, St. Pauli in this first half. It's a deep free kick. I mean, I don't know if these guys can uh, have a good boot or another. It goes over the top, cleared away. I mean, we need something to change at halftime. I mean, Buskins has got to light these guys up uh, at halftime. And this is not the performance we wanted against the top yeah, team in the league. I mean, j just the difference in quality and possession um, between these two teams is just disappointing to see when you're like, once again, this is a Schalke team that is looking to get promoted. Um, and so you really need to be, you know, uh, kind of the class of the league to be doing that. And you have a San Paulo team that is kind of showing you right now, I think, the way you need to play. <laughs> um, 
and it's kind of what they what we need to look like if we want to achieve that uh because we're, we're not living up to that at the moment oh there's uh the mal Chiao marauding uh run towards the <laughs> yep. box again that we see going forward but and that's been the big stick of the of the season so far is that like anybody we've played really there hasn't been many games where we look like we're the cream of the crop look like we want to be back in the bundesliga it just looked like another league game that we a league that we should be in and it's not what we want to see um and that's been the biggest i guess complaint against gramozis is because nothing's really changed over the last couple of seasons other than we get now we're getting results compared to last year i and mean these are just uh, i mean that's a deadly ball that's a yeah just absolutely milk toast pass from zalatar there there we go Oh, yeah, I'm back with the ball in the box. Here we go. Can we get a cross in? Cleared away. Oh, yeah, my goodness. This is, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is tough to watch in the moment. It is. Even it is. in, like, a, a brief and rare sustained period of possession around the box, some of the decisions that are being made right now um, are... Not being made. <laughs> not a, Yeah, not ideal. No. All right, Kaminsky with the throw in deep to Itakura. Itakura looking for ABTO. No, deep cross. Yeah, I don't... Looking for Toroto, who's not playing, by the way. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's what you want to be doing right there. Yeah. Dad Dashoff is a big guy, but I don't know if he's the guy you want to be doing those balls to. Oh, good pass. Corner. Here we go. Here's our opportunity to get back in the game. If you make it 2-1 to one going to halftime. Takes Kaminsky making a run from the back to get into the box for us to like receive a pass. I mean, come on. Yeah. All right, we need a, we need a good delivery here from Oyan. Uh, this is what he's 2-1 to one and a half would doing. be a good result. Yeah, he's been doing this all season. This is one of his strongest attributes. Let's get a let's get a nice one whipped in here. Oh, headed wide. Was that the shelf looks like or oh, Peringer, excuse me. That was Peringer. Wet hair, they all look the same. <laughs> There's that bird eagle. Half time can't get here soon enough. Ugh. Let's see how much stoppage time we get here. We are in the 46th minute, 45th minute here. One minute stoppage time. Yeah, they got like plastic matting or something on the side there, I guess, to protect you against the cleats or something. Could be brick, I guess, but. I imagine you run across it in a, in a wet day like today, easily get slip and fall and get hurt. All right, let's see what we can do here with the last 30 seconds of the game. Oh, the, a half, excuse me. Getting ahead of myself. And the answer is nothing. Correct. That's. I mean, that's really well done from the pass out of that. Wow. And this is, that, that almost turned into a, like a an, an advantage. Well, I can't talk advantageous counter for them. That's I mean that's really nice. Yeah. First time passing, uh, kind of some Rondo stuff there along the sideline. That's well done. And there's a half. Two nothing. Two goals by Guido Burkstaller, uh, unmarked on both plays. Really, um, yeah, it's not the ideal way to have the first half against St. Pauli there. Um, yeah, it's a uh, tough result, Jack. Uh, not playing well at all. Yeah, uh, once again, yeah, just just maybe, maybe a 10-minute period where we looked like we were sort of evenly matched. And outside of that, it's, it's once again been Sao Paulo uh, certainly looking uh, the better of the teams by by some margin. Very difficult time um, maintaining possession, stringing passes together, building in the midfield, uh, which has been um, – a theme all season, but not always to this extent where we can't even maintain possession. We're struggling. Uh, they're, you know, they're, they're often coming at us with multiple players uh, on the ball carrier, putting a lot of pressure, forcing a lot of back passes. Um, you know, I, a couple moments where we had some some joy on the left hand side uh, to whip some balls in. Uh, definitely need more from from Iden. I think down the right uh, to balance things out. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't popped up in dangerous areas too often, and, and need to find a way to get the uh, the attacking duo um involved um i mean if you're gonna have two forward men that aren't aren't really in the game um you're just making it a lot harder to build you know because otherwise you could have those bodies centrally or on the wings or something um and they're just kind of taking up 
taking up roster spots at the moment. Once again, I'm not saying it's entirely their fault, but we need to find a way to get them involved in. Um, yeah, tough, uh, tough first half there. It's a tough first half. Like I said, hopefully uh, Boost can tears into them going into half because, like you said, there's there's a lot of things that are not going well for the team at the moment. I can't think of a particular error, like you said, that we're doing anything particularly well um, from the back to the front. So, yeah, let's see what we can do in the half. It's halftime. We're going to take our break here ourselves, go get some refill of drinks, you know, whatever. So we'll catch you back here in about five minutes or so. And, uh, yeah, see you in a couple minutes here. All right, get this headpiece back in here. Grab myself a beer because it's one of those games. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, what a rough first half there. All right. Look some stats here. All right. Oh, right. That was a rough first half there. Not going to lie. Statistically, it doesn't look as bad, but it is when you really look at it. Seven to six were the shots in favor of St. Pauli. Shots on target, though, four to one in favor of St. Pauli. Uh, possession 61 39 favor the home team. They've had almost 100 passes more than us in that first half. Their passing percentage around 80%, while our passing percentage is about around 65 or so. Fouls nine to two in our favor. We are fouling them a lot, trying to slow the momentum up. And yellow cards are even at the moment, one one, but they've had more of the corner kicks, certainly six to three in this game. Oh. Looking at the current table, St. based on live standing, St. Pauli are in first with on 35 points, six points up on Darmstadt at the moment. They're really starting to pull away here. Uh, and we are currently in seventh place, tied with Hamburg on points. Uh, oh, by the way, the next two opponents, Hamburg and Nuremberg, or Nuremberg-Hamburg, uh, both of them are ahead of us in the table. So win those two games, we can be in a good place going to the Winterpause, but lose this game, lose those, and those two games, we may be looking at a new manager. So it's interesting times here, difficult times here for Schalke. Ooh, the Klassiker. That team in yellow scored a goal. Looks like Bayern won that game three to two. Oh, big goal by Lewandowski. Huh, interesting game. Ho, 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 ho. Man, that guy's good. Lewandowski, game-winning goal. All right. That's the classic. Huh? Let's look at some of the other results here this weekend. In Zweite Liga, let's see. Darmstadt lost to Dusseldorf, a very surprising result there. Werder Bremen beat Eisenberg Auch 4-0. Sunhausen and Paderborn tied 1-1. Hansa Rostock and Ingolstadt tied 1-1. Nuremberg beat Holstein Kiel 2-1. We are currently down 2-0. And then the game's coming up tomorrow. We got Hanover against Hamburg. Dresden versus Karlsruhe. And Heidenheim versus Regensburg. Next week game is against Nuremberg. It's on Friday. It's a midday game for us here in the, in the U.S., so there will be no watch along for that one. Just an FYI for those watching this one tonight. Still commercial break. We're just short of kickoff here. Oh, tough, tough first half. So goals by Gita Burksteller, 20th and the 39th minute. Uh, Kaiserslautern had a nice win today, huh? YouTube shows thirdly games weekly. There you go. 
Well, hopefully we never have to be in the in the, in the Dreyta Liga there. Uh, but it's good to know. Kaiserslautern's one of those uh, classic teams that you know we haven't seen in a while. They after they got relegated from the Bundesliga, it's they've been nowhere to be seen ever since. So at least we can watch uh, watch them in, in, on YouTube here. Uh, it's nice that they they show the third um, third division games. You know, wish the second division was so hard to watch, right? But uh, at least we found ways here watch it together or at least listen to it together. Make sure my feed is on live right now. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, interesting. Kaiserslautern was your first Bundesliga game live in 1988. Interesting. Who did they play? Was it against Schalke? Curious. It's a huge stadium, which is unfortunate to have such a big stadium in, in the third division. But, you know, all of us nostalgics would love to see Kaiserslautern back in the Bundesliga relevant again. Um, looks like St. Pauli is probably going to get back this after this season the way they're currently playing. Well, we... That is to be determined, I think. We have um, a long way to go. <laughs> Dirk, yes, I think it was you that said uh, Burke Seller would score a hat-trick against us. and He's on pace for that, just one goal off of that at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, but like I said, you know, Burke Stollers and St. Pauli seem that they're on a trajectory towards the Bundesliga this season. Us, on the other hand, not even close to that at the moment. We've played had good moments here and there we've been we're within shooting range of of the top of the table uh st Pauli are clear they're a six point lead right now if results hold today uh, at the top by themselves but you know we get we're three points behind second place we're within reach next two games against norberg hamburg we have to win those games yeah uh, gramotis needs to win those games if he still wants to be a manager going into the second half of the season uh lose all three games here going in december we're going to be mid the table at best. Yes, we are unlucky with injuries again, uh, but it's no excuses, right? We need to find ways to win. We, doesn't matter who we have. Yeah, Dadashoff, Perringer starting up top. Doesn't matter. We need to find ways to get results. If you want to be a good team, you need to get good results, and we're not playing well at all. I mean, if this is supposed to be a top spiel today, and the only team that looks top really is Bergsteller and St. Pauli. We struggle to do anything offensively, struggle to do anything defensively. We're just not doing anything at all. Both teams are here, getting out here on the pitch here. Getting ready to start here momentarily. I really hope uh, Wuskins threw some chairs around there in the dressing room to kind of fire these boys up. Teams are walking out here. Let's get this screen change. <laughs> Curious to see how the first five, ten minutes come out because uh, we've not doing anything at all. <laughs> Excuses is all we have right now or shot in footy because BVB lost uh, – FC arrogance. <laughs> That's true. This is true. This is all we have right now. Oh, Jack's back. Boom. There he is. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Our pals in over at Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, yeah. You hate to see it. Do we? <laughs> Looks like they'll be losing a striker this year. Jesse, Jesse Marsh sacked as well, right? Um, was he? I missed that. I, I thought I thought I saw that today. Yeah. Leipzig. Um. Not. Yeah. I mean, not shocking the way that's gone so far, but obviously unfortunate yeah. from the American perspective because I actually do genuinely rate Jesse March as a coach. Um. Next Schalke manager. <laughs> might be a little bit of a step down in terms. Of, I think where the trajectory he's trying to go is, but uh, yeah, sad that it didn't work out for him there. Interesting to see he, where he'd he be goes going next. to a bigger club. All right, second half is off and running. Oh, here we go. I then. Oh, shoot it, shoot safe. it. Oh, damn. 
you're behind me, I think. I am. I think I am. Yeah. I'm glad he went for that, though. I didn't think there was much on there in terms of a pass. So. Uh, correct, Dirk. That, that was Jack who said it. I thought it was you. I was trying to give you credit here. It was Jack with the hat trick prediction. Yeah, Dirk, whenever it comes to these kind of things, you just have to think to yourself, what is the most like obvious, awful thing that could happen to us? And that's what's going to happen. What is the most uh, shocking oh, we're thing? Play, yeah, we're playing Bergstahl. Yeah, he's going to score a hat trick. And I mean, if you just, as long as you think that way, you're never going to be, uh, you're never going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> or never be incorrect. You'll be disappointed. You just got to manage your own expectations. You got to come into these things assuming that you're just going to be absolutely heartbroken by your former player. Yeah. Right, better start to the second half so far, but we're only a minute in, so <laughs> throwing for Schalke into the box. I apologize. I was late rejoining. Did, we, did I miss any halftime substitutions? It doesn't look like it from what I can see at the moment, but no, I didn't. I didn't notice anything myself. Oh, they missed the first Ooh, or what? Right? Yeah. Yeah, they did. He was looking for that. Yep. And he should have right, received it in my left. opinion. Cross in from Drexler. Dad the shaft did nothing. Yep. Should have done better with that. That was a nice ball from Drexler. Drexler's got a good uh good cross on him as well. We've yeah, seen that a couple times this season. Um and he actually he actually likes that like hard drive down the left, then cut uh -oh. it back onto his uh -oh. right to whip it uh -oh. in. Uh oh. Frauza out of the box. Oh sh Itakura, luckily back there. Woo! Kira had eyes open on that. Frazel doing his best Emmanuel Neuer impersonation, getting left out of the box. I don't know what the hell he was thinking there. What on earth was that? Is Fairman available for substitution? <laughs> Not that uh, Frazel's at blame for the goals necessarily, but... No, but seriously, what was that, though? I don't know. That was... So, He's like going to touch the ball. Not like he did anything with it. Such he just... an odd play. What a weird decision. All right, ball pass back to Frazel, who passes wide left to Kaminsky. Over to Oyan on the left. Not particularly convincingly. Nope. Must be said. Well covered there. That uh, lofted ball to uh, Dadashov there. Looking on the bench to see who we have available. Lots of vouchers. Ranful Idrizi would be the option offensively. Uh, Kiki Maximilian top. Matriciani, Chalanolu, Kaparos, and Vinand available. Not necessarily world beaters. I'd imagine Blindy Adrizi would be one of the first names coming off the bench. Yeah, we, we just haven't seen that much of him though this season. No, you know, like I feel like we've seen like like Vouders more than than Adrizi and, and yeah, Matriciani as well. We've seen him almost every game. I mean, like in terms of the people that you typically typically see subbed in. Yeah, not like they're competing for the same position necessarily, but starting eleven is starting eleven, Jack. If you are watching along on YouTube, make sure to give us a like. We would much, very much appreciate it. Oh, turn over there. Good. All right, throwing here. Throwing for Shaka here on the left hand side. Looks like Drexler going to take the throw. Kaminsky crossfield pass to Malik Tiao. Nicely done. And then Tiao. Oof, not convincing at all. It'd be nice if we could keep more of these on the ground and everything is just kind of like chip passes that just kind of catch us out of rhythm because they're rarely, you know, executed properly. Yeah, these lofted balls are not working. It, it, what it does is it the pass is slow. It allows the defender opportunity to press on you. And then once the ball gets to you, it'll be quick turnover. Oh, good pass wide out right. Crosses in. Nope, that was a shot. I then high and wide. Hey, go for it. No one else is taking shots in this game. Dude, who's like the Sabitzer Jr. character they have on uh, Sao Paulo? Diet Sabitzer with the uh, with the facial hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Diet. 
<laughs> Sabbaths are light. <laughs> Sabbaths are light, yeah. All facial hair, no substance. You can say that about our starting 11. There we go. Get a white. Ah, no hustle on the ball there. Every 50 50 ball is going towards St. Pauli. I think that may have been Dadashov's top speed. <laughs> Maybe. Should be thrown here for Schalke. Yep. No? Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. Sabisir Light. Yep. <laughs> he does look like him. That ball out wide right to Malik Tiao over to Aiden. Aiden passing up. Oh, turnover. Aiden's got to stop forcing these passes. It's not working. All right, let's get the ball back. I didn't. Trulanov is out injured. I forgot about that. Okay, right on. This um, the thing I would say is uh, this like four three one two almost from Sao Paulo is an interesting system. Yeah. Oh, good muscle by Peringer there. You like to see that from the striker there. Yeah, that was better. I mean, it's one of the first op like moments of like kind of like hold up play that we've seen from either of them in this in this game. We just need someone to make the runs off of that, right? If Peringer can keep holding it up, bring someone off the bench, maybe like a Drizzy or something, or bring a Drizzy on and make push somebody else up. Push Salazar up, maybe put Salazar along Peringer, maybe. Because you look on the bench and there's not many options there. Now, it's funny, last game we talked about how it was maybe a good time to have Toroda out injured, but then you'll go to this game, you got not only Toroda, but you got Bolter, you got everybody else out injured, your backups injured. It was a strange play. Like, yeah, it looked like some probably was going to kick it out and they didn't, and now we finally did once we got it back. But well, I've got a little bit, a little bit harder stuff going with some beer now. It's the kind of game that kind of warrants a little bit some alcohol. I am not matching you with the uh, I'm drinking grapefruit bubbly at the moment. So there you go. Very, very <laughs> different realms of the bubbly. I think I feel like you're usually the one drinking the alcohol. I'm drinking the bubbly bubbly. I, I do like my whiskey on the pod. That's that's for sure. Yeah. Being this is not a podcast, you know, no, no whiskey. I mean, to, to me, and this is early in the day. To me, this is far too much like aerial pinball and yes. not enough like actual. I, I don't know if this is going to. Accomplish what we're trying to accomplish in the second there's half. Just, the there's just been no intent yes. for Schalke when, the, when we have the ball, unlike St. Pauli, who St. Pauli has been on the back foot, on the back burner so far in this half. But why not? You're down. Let the other team take the ball and play on the counter. That's smart by them, but we're doing nothing with the ball. And we have no threats, really. Like, if we do get the ball in the box, it's not getting to Peringer, it's not getting to Dadashoff. I mean, like, once again, like, if, if every pass is either, like, headed or, or like, you know, lobbed in the air, everything is just, I mean, it, it's so hard to... Kills the play. To, com to complete, like, two or three of those simultaneously cleanly. I mean, it's much more difficult than doing that, you know, with, with ground passes. I, I just, it's just all of these are falling apart and out of rhythm and, and... The only passes we're stringing together is when we're passing center back to center back and back to Frossel. Other than that, there's been no... No continuity on the passes. Two, three passes and turnover. <laughs> ah, bad cross. Yeah, and the TL going for the cross pitch pass and was not good. Immediately to Bergie. Of 
course. Same area he's constantly ran into and attacks all evening. So attacking Kaminsky a lot, I noticed that. Here comes the overlapping on the left-hand side. There you Ooh. go. Ball in. Poor ball, honestly. Ooh. but Frazzo stops the hat trick there. Bergstahler should have done better with that, honestly. That was, I thought it was a goal. You know what? That would I think that would have been uh, hard. I mean, pretty unlucky, though, because that's a poor ball that oh. they play in, and it just kind of scored it out. And uh, oh. fortunately, it looked like Itakura kind of directed that closer to the direction of, of Frazzle. They may have been curling closer to the far uh, post. I don't know if Frazzle would have had it yeah, covered. Yeah, Frazzle got his legs, dragging leg, was able to stop it. Not particularly far away from the uh, from the Bergie hat trick there. And here no. comes a uh, another short corner routine. You think he celebrates on a third goal? <laughs> they have they have a different routine set up for most of these. I mean, it looks like most of these have literally been like set set um, set moves. It's like one or two that have been like kind of just standard, you know, whatever pick plays in the box. But some of these San Pauli short corner routines have been kind of interesting. Yeah, Smith with a good tackle there on the ball. Throwing for St. Pauli here on the left hand side, deep in our end. Paquera that looks like with the throw in. Seems to have recovered nicely. Yes. When he was writhing around on the ground for 30 seconds. Name our light. As uh, as footballers often oh, do. Oh, give and go. Corner kick. No? Goal kick. And it's like, I mean, I know, I know it's a goal kick. So, like, what are you going to do sometimes? But just like, you know, we get we get the ball back after all that, and it's immediately like a long ball that just turns into a turn. I mean, it, I don't know. Frazzle to the other goalkeeper, um, right? This has not been, uh, I think, the response at the you know the first fifteen minutes or so of the uh, second half that we were looking for. Um, I do not get the sense at the moment that this one is going to end uh, favorably for us, or even um, it might get uglier. I, I feel. Yeah, Brooks has already had a couple opportunities at the hat trick in this second half. I feel it coming. <laughs> Hopefully not. We need a goal to get back in this game. Number 19, Zander. Zander is is in the Zander or Irvin? Irvine. That looks like Sabitzer. Oh, I don't know. I didn't I didn't catch the uh, the last name yet. I think it's Sounder. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> St. Paul brings the ball up here. My front doorbell rings. Good I passing mean, to get out of just, there. Just an absolute acre of space centrally to play that into and turn up field. I mean, the ball's out wide left. Oh, backdoor pass. Oh, a work seller. Whoo! They're trying to feed Bergie. They're for, they're trying to feed him, and he luckily he shot it wide there. Good passing there by St. Pauli. Man, did it hit off the? No, that's the last play. Corner kick here for St. Pauli. Pocket out of here to take the corner kick. Ball's in. Cleared away by Schalke, but right back to St. Pauli. Another cross in the box. Cleared away once again. Yeah, number eight, essentially for them. They're Patrick Schick look alike. A lot of doppelgangers in this one. It works, I guess, for them. Burke Schiller has had more chances this game than he had all season at Schalke. Yeah, he's had more goals than he had his whole career at Schalke. A lot of animosity from uh, from our friend Charlie there towards uh, Mr. Burke Schiller. It's a lot, an lot, X. Of, lot of pet X, names, you know? a lot of... <laughs> That's a foul. Thank you. Okay. I think it was a breakup that had to happen, right? Because Burke Schiller wasn't doing anything for us, not that we were doing anything for him, and it just it needed to happen, and he's found his way. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, once again, towards the end of his time there, he was definitely butting his head against the wall, I think. Um, yeah. I think at this point, St. Pauli is just, you know, baiting Schalke to try anything at them. They're like, come on, see what you got. Because they know if they do come at something, they're going to need to come up them, come at them with numbers, and then they can hit them on a counterattack if it's turnover. I mean, that sequence right there, that, that's just very well coordinated, yep. high pressure from them. Um, every time, you know, the ball is passed away, um, another player closing down and immediately forcing another less than ideal pass out of there, and they ultimately funnel to the sideline. And here we go, counterattack by Schalke here. That's a decent diagonal, and it's not, unfortunately, uh, Dadashov does not control that in a way that uh, keeps the momentum of that attack at all. Uh, Drexler, good movement on the ball. Over to Oyan on the left. Oyan's cross is blocked. Throw in for Schalke. I don't, I don't necessarily enjoy that you just have three people just camped in the box too. I mean, like somebody has to come out a little bit deeper and, and provide an outlet there. Um, cross in the box, back door over everybody, and out for a goal kick. Yeah, unfortunately, Malik Chiao. Um, has not uh, been, I think, quite honed in on some of his longer balls today. Anything yeah. in the air from him, for the most part, has been uh, just a little bit off. Almost every diagonal pass he's made has gone Is to corner? Pauli. What, did, what just yeah. happened? I thought, oh, I thought that was out. It was, I thought it was goal kick. It must have just hit off the defender. I don't see that anywhere. I don't either. I'll take it because uh, I could use a Kaminsky goal right here. It may have been like one of the second missed calls that they just... Nope, cleared away. Uh oh. Berkey gets to it first. Now he looks like Neymar. Look at that pass. Whoa, nice pass. Two on one here for St. Pauli. Kira in the box. Woo, what a move. Oh, man. St. Pauli. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Clinical from St. Pauli. Berksteller missed it just again. He is on it today. Son of a St. Pauli. I mean, they just pass so quickly. He's off sides anyway. But quick passing by them, moving all the way around. Intent. That's the big difference between them offensively and also offensive. Oh, man, one of the many things. Goal kick immediately. This is uh, it's pretty ugly stuff from us at the moment. Yeah, this is almost uh, a training game for uh, St. Pauli. There's a foul. Free kick for Schalke in the defensive end. Who's that down? Burksteller? No. Jensen's in the house. How you doing, Jensen? We've been better. We've been better, but we're here. How are you doing? Down 2 nothing. Two goals by our ex-lover, Bergstaller. Not the ideal way to go. It's cold. It's raining in, in Hamburg. But one goal, we're back in this game. Could make it interesting, though I think it's not enough glimpses by us to make any threats. You need to get lucky here on a set piece or something. Or an audacious turnover or something. Well, Charlie, you've been asking right now, how is it not 6-0? I mean, I really don't actually think there were that many clear-cut chances for San Pauli in the first half, despite, you know, definitely having the majority of the pressure. It's really only been, you know, the last 10 minutes here in the second half. They started really firing a couple in uh, consistently. Enforcing some saves out of Frazzle and company. Yeah. I, I I could have seen a couple goals, but not playing well. Not playing well. Throwing for St. Pauli. Deep in our end. Ball up in the air. Who's going to get it? Look, they get every 50-50 ball. 
granted that one out, thrown for Schalke, but your boy Sabitzer Light is actually wearing number seven, like Sabitzer too. So go figure. Here we go. But Kaminsky on the left hand side. Oh, we on doing the Bugs Bunny there, passing the ball to himself. <laughs> oh, I should have gone to freaking Iden. That's a, that's a very that's a very poor ball from Zach. See, now, now we're getting in trouble too. If we start if we start doing these things, which has kind of been happening in the second half already, but like that is that is a completely unforced giveaway. That is just a wildly missed pass. Um, We'd be out caught right, out on, so. a, on a counterattack. We'd be caught out because we had numbers behind that ball. Or it's it's one thing to get outplayed. Once you start playing sloppy like that, it's this is yeah. I mean, listen, I, I figured this was going to be a difficult match. I think we all did. Um, this is a this is a worse showing that I expected. Even you know when you factor in the fact that your your manager Gramatis is not available yeah. to at least be you know actively coaching from the sidelines, which he does, or making adjustments, and then you know some of the you know the personnel um, losses in terms of actual players as well. But even so, this is I think um, substandard and a little bit below what we were hoping we'd be able to muster against uh, the San Pauli team right now. This doesn't look like a team that wants to be in the Bundesliga next year. Or maybe St. Paul is just that good. I don't know. I unfortunately don't read German. What's he saying? Take Drexler Zalazar out. Yeah, looks like it. We're not doing any, we're not doing St. Paul any favors here either. And it's pouring down rain there. <sighs> we are in the 68th minute, and we're really posing nothing, no threat in the second half. Our best opportunity of the game, I think, is that that, that, that drive that Salazar had the opportunity one on one and shot it over. That's been you our know, if, pretty much all the opportunity. If we can find a way to steal something in the next 10 minutes, we can make it interesting at the end, but it just doesn't seem to be um, anywhere near close to happening for us. Yeah. Um, I, I just, yeah, I don't see how it's going to come about, but we've survived, I guess you would say, sort of the, uh, the early onslaught. second half onslaught. Yeah, and it's kind of calmed down a little bit the last five minutes or so. Some Don't subs about us. to be made. It looks like Donnie Lotz is about to. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's Lotz. It looks like he's about to come on. Maybe take off Dadashov, bring in Lotz, uh, move up Salazar to alongside. Yeah, uh, I, yeah I, I do think you need to. I mean, I think you need to change shape, honestly. I, yes. I think this is a game where we have not been able to oh, involve oof, our, our, our attacking two at, at all. Um. Sam Pauli wants a penalty here. I'll break off for a second so we can figure out what's going on. Yeah, player went down. Ooh, maybe a call worthy there. I then came on tight against the offensive, uh, offensive player. The he goes out of the leg, box. The extra yeah. leg kick when he was falling was interesting and seemed very unnatural, but that yeah. in, there was some initial contact there. I'm trying to talk to the referee to see if we can get a VAR check, but uh, nothing to this point. No, no penalty there. No penalty. I think it's a dive, if anything. Do you see that leg kick? Like, what is that? That's that's so. Oh. I mean, that's that's. If you if you don't want to get a penalty, that's definitely the thing you should do because I mean I don't think any official is going to look at that and, and take that seriously. But it's like, how can I make this look as unnatural as possible, even if there was contact? Not <laughs> not, not not winning any Academy Awards. <laughs> Ooh. Studs up on that. But what I was saying prior to that that whole situation, um, uh, yeah, studs up there on diet shake. Um, I, I I think you almost have to change shape because we have not been able to get our attacking duo involved almost at all um, in anything when we're in possession. And so to me, that's just wasted bodies at this point. And I would rather move one of those guys into the midfield. Yeah, um, clog up that midfield. Exactly. Something along those lines. Um so I, I would actually, yeah, I'd be, instead of replacing one of them, I mean, I'd just I'd take him out and, and bring somebody else on centrally, I think. Jensen, it is 4 o'clock p.m. in the East Coast, 3 o'clock in Jack's Land, Jack's Land, yeah. Chicago. The greater That's Chicago right. land area, yeah, 3 p.m. Right. in right. central USA. Which some could say include Wisconsin, huh? but I don't think Jake would. <laughs> 
Hey, I love Wisconsin. My family had a property up there for years. I did hey. a couple podcasts. Remember remotely there last uh, last fall. I'm there drinking go, Wisconsin New, beer. Is that New Is that New Glarus? I can't tell. New Glarus. It's New Glarus. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So there you go. St. Pauli with the ball on top of the box. Going wide right. Looking to cross it in. They get it into the box. Frazzle comes out and catches the ball. All right. That's the best play he's made all game. All right. 20 minutes for glory here. Let's see what we can muster. Let's see. Let's see indeed. Have these subs happened yet? Have I just not seen them happen yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're, we're, we're waiting on these for a couple minutes now. Let's get them in. We're waiting for the 85th minute. You know. So, yeah. yeah Wagner special. David Wagner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. David, 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 David Wagner. David. Yeah. David Wagner. <laughs> Good old David. Kaminsky over the top. Here you go. Oh, good pass. Oh, he went the wrong option there. Salazar took a shot there, but you had Iden wide open on the right. Oh, it's not. Yeah, Chris, I'm sure you drove uh, fairly close. Yeah, I'm sort of in like the uh, western suburbs of Chicago. So, Kaminsky passes back to Frazzle. Good pressure by St. Pauli there. Ball goes out to Itakura, I believe. Nope, Tiao. Ball gets knocked out by St. Pauli. Throw in for I then here. There we go. Here we go. Here's the subs. All right, what we got here? Make a sub, FC Chalco. Make a sub. <laughs> make a sub. <laughs> Looks like Ranful and Donny Lotza, I believe. Yeah. Trying to see for who. I thought I saw a 30 in there. Is Paulson coming out? Yes. And who's the other guy? Is Kaminsky? Maybe the other off. I then. I then coming off. So Ronfo for I then. Not- not shocked by that. Uh, not not the strongest showing from our boy. Um, no. Berkshaw needs to come off and help us out. All right, Itakura with the ball. Nice protection there. Dangerous. Turns it over, though. Another turnover there by Schalke. Good pressure. Good back pressure there by Schalke. Uh, but they turn it over once again. Jeez. I mean, how, here's a question. I mean, once again, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a coach. Me, me know this. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, how often have you seen us in a, in the middle of a game actually change shape? Or try something else. Yeah, I, I feel we like we haven't done that since Tedesco. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I feel like it's here is our here is our general shape and system, and all of our subs that we're making are going to fit in that. We're never going to alter like for like, like what for we like have going on. From the, I can't. I mean, I'm sure there may be an example this season, but I can't think of one. And I feel like this is maybe a game to do it. And instead, you still have you know Piringer and Dadashov up there, who once again, neither of whom have done almost. We anything. might have done it in a game where we were down by a goal trying to do something offensively through some chips in the bag, but that's about it. It's been very rare, if at all. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Are we on the left here? side? cross it in. Goal! Woo! Salazar with the goal. Did he just do the Zoltan? In the there game, we go. Babe. Here we go. be said. If we can get one in the next 10 minutes, we can make it interesting for the final 15 or so, and here we are, 75th minute. To and one. guess who made the assist? Oh, yeah, and of course, our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and um, Savior. So was that Lotsa with the and that's, pass? That's, that I one? mean, I mean, like he he should have. Yeah, he almost could have caught that in rhythm earlier, but it ended up getting out to Oh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, honestly, Zalazar unmarked finds a pocket of space, and I think you know the defense just sort of overran that a little bit, and it came in slightly behind them, and they weren't able to adjust. So, and I I think um, Salazar started that play from the top, and he made the run and continue on that led to that goal. So you know, bravo to him if that's the case. Quality finish from him. Yes, absolutely. Let's get the scoreboard change. Make it two to one. So now, so he, I mean, he had his he had his first non uh, he had his first Bundesliga goal for Schalke last week, and now followed it up two in a row now for him. Yeah, so I think he, 
for one in the uh the cup before that, but not in the league. And there, there we go. We <laughs> Joseph says yay. Yeah, we if we get a point on this, it'll be a miracle. I mean, look, we're getting dominated in this game completely. If we shit house our way to a tie or even a win. Oh, there's a free kick, top of the box. Here we go. Here we go, Salazar. I oh, missed. I, mi I missed what, what what this was for. What happened? Someone's offside. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, they're saying high boot there. That's what they're calling it for. Uh, no. It's oh not... no, I see. Okay, yeah, it should. So it should have been brought back in the first place. That's yeah, going on. yeah, okay. yeah. <sighs> Two to one in the 77th minute here. Got some 10 minutes and some change here to get a point, possibly a miracle point. Imagine that if we could get that, but we're still ways away from that. Need to find a way to shit house our way into another goal here. Hey, I'll take I'll take anything we can get. Three points would be mighty happy for me. Eat the quarter with the ball. That's the spirit, Chris. That's right. Let's go, go take the whole damn thing. Um I was going for a shot from distance there. Okay, right. let's calm down, Salazar. We, we saw you. Oh. Nice. Oh man. Ran for Malik, Ma one, no, I'm sorry. Once again, Malik Chow. This is a, this is a this is legitimately a poor game from Malik Chow. It is. It uh, is. Which is which is rare, um, where you're noticing him making mistakes as often. But in possession, he has been pretty abysmal today. If San is available, I don't know if you actually he's not available. I just looked on the bench before. He's not available. Um, trying to see who could bring in for him. No Timo Becker on the bench. No. No. Idrizi, though. He can still bring him on. Probably won't, but... There's a header again from Salazar. Nicely done. Bring on a Drizzy for a defender. Turn it into a diamond. Yep. Ah. Unfortunately, Salazar did not do the Zoltan, which I was kind of hoping he would do. <laughs> Oh, Here's Peringer, Peringer on working on the left hand side. Tries to cut in. Yeah. You like the idea, but not the execution. There we go. Oyan. That's an interesting cross. Oh, Quick man. passing again. Hot. That's I mean, that's nicely done from Bergstaller. Oh. I mean. Here they go. He still has the ball. Oh! Last ditch effort to stop that from getting to Bergstaller. Dive, dive. There you go. There we go. Here we go. Salazar, what a run. <sighs> you can tell he's gassed. Dada, is that Dadashoff? I think it was Piringer. Uh. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, the official got in the way there. Yep. Ah, got bad pass. Back. Come on. This is, this is, yeah, this is too sloppy. I mean, you have, you, the game opened up a little bit. Um, you know, it's there's a it's a San Pauli a little bit um play, unsteady at the play. moment, and, and we're giving too many of these away. Yes, um, the game is definitely out of sorts at the moment. We can take advantage of that, yeah. Brown full back to Tiao, back to Itakura, over to Kaminsky here on the left. Oh, Kaminsky nearly fell there. It's like salads are on the ball. There you go. Keep it simple. Oh, maybe this is Drexler. So, yeah, personally, I'm not a fan of them slowing this down now. I, I want them to keep this the, the tempo that they had up because that was causing problems. And now we're kind of back into our stagnant. Yeah. That was the most shape, opportunities we had at all which game. Is, which is where we struggle, and they can kind of coordinate their pressure a little bit better. There you go. Oh. When they have time to set shape. Shaka goal song has come on in our, our radio, so maybe that can uh, help motivate the guys to get a goal. That ball goes wide out left to Oyan. Oyan back to Drexler. Drexler cross pass. I don't know who that was going to. Back to Itakura. Itakura over to Malik Tiao. Tiao to Ranful. Crosses in to the box. Oh, 
Bouncing around. <sighs> Call the foul on Shaka. Calling a lot of these plays on Perringer. I mean, he's trying to be physical out there, but... Okay, someone else is coming in here. No, he, he's finally come alive the last 10 minutes or so. Yeah. After not doing a whole lot. Is that Drexler coming? No, it's, no, it's your data shop coming off. Data shop is off. Hop, top, excuse me, top is on. There you go. Put him at the top of the box. <laughs> Kiki Maximilian top into the game for data shop. Immediate high energy pressure there from, uh, from top. So let's see what he does. Could use some of that. Good tackle. Malik Tiao, good play defensively. Knocked it off the St. Pauli defender, too. I don't know how that was in this. Yep. Uh, well done. Okay. Yep. Eight minutes and some change here to get another goal here against St. Pauli. <laughs> Those arrows look like this shit emojis. Well, it's interesting to see how balanced they've been. Yeah. And they've mostly been going down Kaminsky's side, which we would agree. That's why we see most of the action coming, especially Bergstaller. But it's been fairly consistent, like you said. Yeah, and I'm sure ours is like 60% left, 30% right. There you like, go. You know, nothing 40, in the middle. 40-40 in the what? There you side. Go. More and, balanced than I thought it would have been, but yeah, nothing yeah. central. That's usually how it goes. Yep. Yep. I mean, that's been a theme pretty much all season. So All season long. And that's what's frustrating is like, you know, that, that was diagnosed pretty early. And here we are into December and that hasn't changed. And that's when you start having those questions about, you know, the coach. It's like, all right, so we have the sample size now. We think he's had time to work on some of these issues. And, you know, when it doesn't get resolved, it becomes yeah worrisome. But um, let's see what Obeon can do here from the Distance. free kick opportunity. Rain continuing to pour down. It looks like pretty miserable conditions to play a match in. Oh, corner kick, right? No, I didn't see that. That's no. a really goal kick. A little bit long, but. Not not a terrible effort, not the best. No. Seven minutes or so until stoppage. One goal deficit. Goal kick here for San Pauli. Okay, good turnover there. Oh, good hold up. Good pass. Oh, oh, goal! Oh, yeah, baby! Unbelievable! Shit ourselves. Is the top? What happened? No, no, they're no. Call it, they're call, they're disallowing this. How? Who would have been off? off? The striker's off right there. Does it touch it? Does Peringer oh, touch it? Oh, yeah. Ah, shit. That's a good decision. That's a good decision. I didn't see call. that live. That's a good call. Oh, yeah, shot deflected, went in, but oh, my unfortunately, goodness. Perringer offsides. Or maybe it was top that was offsides, but I think way. it was Perringer. Better. That's better. But damn. That was an insanely lucky deflection. It turned it into like a chip, like over the top of the keeper. Yeah. Turnover, Schalke regains possession here on the right-hand side. Ball goes out. No? Nope. Yep. Throw in for St. Pauli. Nope. It changes his mind, Schalke. <laughs> the Masked Crusader getting ready to come in for St. Pauli. That's the uh, last action of the game for Shit Quattro Titanium there, heading off. St. <laughs> Paul with the good pressure caused a turnover, but we get it right back here. Curious to see what kind of stoppage time we'll have here. I'm guessing three at tops. Mm. 
Back to Frazzle, who plays it out quickly to come to Oyan, excuse me, on the left. Oyan brings it up the pitch, not real, any pressure, goes for the long ball into the box. St. Pauli clears it away, but back always far as us in the midfield. Oyan to Drexler, ball in, cleared away by St. Pauli. Yeah, not enough height on that one. No. Give it a wide right. Area, though. They're giving the ball to the left-hand side between Drexler and Oyan. Two of your there. best uh, deliverers from, from wide areas there. Oh, cleared away again by St. Pauli. Back to Drexler. Good sustained pressure right now at the moment. Yeah, let's change it up a little bit. Go down the right-hand side. Oh, Salazar loses it. We get it right back. Takes a shot. Deflected. Handball. Got to be a corner kick now, right? Goal kick for St. Pauli here. We are in the 87th minute. A couple minutes left to uh, shit has a way to a point. Thought we had it there a few minutes ago through Oyan, but Herringer called, rightly so, offsides. All right, free kick for Frazzle here. Quickly played it out. To who the hell did he pass it to? Oh, my goodness. Oh, fucking A. <sighs> Frazzle better with his feet than Fairman. <laughs> no comment. No comment. I do. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. It beckoned. St. Paul at the top of the box. Passing around. Cleared away by Shaka. Can we get a counterattack wow. here? They really should have been able to get more out of that. They had yeah. a couple guys that were just in space back posted, and that ball was very late in getting there. Salazar, nice movement with the ball pass. Switches the play here to Oyan. Nice diagonal. Excuse me, Drexler. Drexler to Oyan crosses into the box, bounces around, cleared away. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, some of the fatigue. Some of these balls are coming in like low and a little bit weak, and yeah, you know yeah. they're still whipping them in, but they're not getting what they need on them. Yeah. Zaltar looks gassed, but it's still not running his ass people. off. So, I mean, props to him for the uh, the effort he's putting in right now. Need the quarter with the ball, looking some of the pass to back to Frazzle. Yeah, it's just. I mean, they've had you know this four this four one uh, first four three one two for San Pauli. They have you know th that. Um, number 17, who's sort of in that one in the system, is just kind of marking our um, our number six. And yeah. I have the two strikers putting the pressure to us. So everything is getting, you know, it's very Filtered. difficult for us to do anything centrally. It has to go wide to one of the left backs. And There we go. Out wide right to Drexler. Left, excuse me. Oh, oh yeah, I almost missed that. Here we go. Crossing the box to Drexler. Trexler takes a shh. I don't know what the heck Trexler does. Oh, my goodness. Caught in two minds there. That is a uh, a shot from, like, the corner of the six-yard box that ends up going out for a throw-in. Um, DeSanto you, special. Yeah, if you wanted to know how <laughs> poor that was. Kaminsky's says it all. That He's is, tired. Um, He's putting a shift. Oh. Yeah. Not a good one, just a shift. I think that's the end. Is that a curtain call for Bergie? Yeah, I think so. And Kira. Bergstar leads the game. Two goals. Game winning goal at this at present right now. Strong performance by him. He was all over. He could easily could have had one or two more goals in this game, I thought. Two of the better players coming off the pitch at the moment. No, and what's what's funny is he, he's doing the things that we've seen him do successfully for us. Like, like how many times is it that over the top ball he uses his body well to kind of hold somebody off and fires in, you know, kind of an oblique shot? Um, yeah. I mean, like we, we've seen that that kind of uh, movement and look from him quite often when he was in our colors. So, um, not certainly not an unknown quantity. And it's kind of disappointing that he was able to just kind of play his game as easily as he was today. Yeah. 
when you kind of know what he's going to do. From St. Pauli, ball coming out left. They had a counter, and they kind of slowed it down. But, oh, oh, God, wide open. Ooh. Had a goal and missed it wide. Frazel went down pretty early there. Way too quick. It's freaking Coldplay uh, cover in the background. <laughs> I think it says Schalke like a little Coldplay cover. <laughs> How's the attacking play? Cold. Um, throwing for Schalke here. Basically a midfield. Four minutes of stoppage time here. So we got three minutes to do something with the ball. Deep pass by Frazel. Oh, their guy fell down. Here goes Oyan on the left. Oh, find someone in the box. Takes a shot. Oh, saved on the goal line by the keeper. You know what? Good turn by top there. Yep. Nice turn and got decent pace on that. Got it on target. Foul against Schalke. We've got a St. Pauli player on the floor. Salazar yeah, with a yellow card. Yeah, he's going to stay down for as long as he can here. Yep. Oh, he just, no, it's not a foul. Went for the header and hit Salazar in the back of the head. How's that a foul against Salazar? Well, yeah, regardless of what takes place here in the next minute and a half or so, um, you know, props, props them for making it interesting, but ultimately um, I think far below the standard of what's required to compete yeah. with a team like San Pauli this year, and that doesn't bode well. I mean, it's one result. You don't want to draw you know, too many massive conclusions from it, but it doesn't bode well for um, you know, the second half of the season here as we try to push for this promotion. But it's been fairly in line with what we've seen this season against some of the bigger opponents, right? Uh, Regensburg, yeah. Hamburg, this game. Not doing well, really, again – Outclass for the opposition when really shouldn't be in this division. Is he offsides? Yeah, okay. I was going to say. How many is Berksteller offsides there? Man, it's pouring down right there. We are in the 94th minute of stoppage time, the last minute. It's all or nothing here. Everybody left. up. Besides yep. the goalkeeper. Yep. Oh, we get a corner. He may come up himself. No goal kick. Yeah, we we may only have one more chance of this if they you know get this goal kick. We may have yeah. one opportunity to kind of counter, and that might be it. Goalie taking his time. This is probably it right here as soon as he kicks it. Oh, here they go on the counter. Takes a shot. Quickly, quick, get up. Nope, there's a game. Game, set, match. We tried our best to shithouse it for that draw, but did not get it. Two to one. St. Pauli get the victory. Two goals by Guido Berksteller in the 20th and 39th minute. We shithouse us away with a goal late, but it would be not enough. Two to they're one, Jack. They're, ce they're celebrating as, as as if that was like an underdog performance from them, or if that wasn't as dominant as it was. I'm kind of surprised that this means as much as it does to them. But you know, props yeah. to them. They they definitely outplayed us today. And yeah. um, yeah. I mean, you hate to see it from Bergy, but what do you expect? Kind of written in the stars there. Um, that's not. I mean, so you know, coming out of the international break now, uh, we're talking what four points from nine. Yeah. Um, not what was needed there, uh, for sure. And, um, you know, two more difficult matches coming up before, uh, the Vincer Pausa, um, such as it is in the second division. Um, 
I mean, good effort. I mean, the, the fight continues to kind of be there in the team, but it's just it's just poor. There's not enough happening, once again, in possession. Um, very difficult day. Uh, sloppy play at the back at times, once again, in possession from Malik Chow, which was not helping because they're usually a little bit more solid than that. Um, very little offered from the two up top. Peringer came on, you know, in terms of his involvement a little bit later and started making an impact late in the game. But, you know, at least 75 minutes of relatively little from him. Uh, yeah. Definitely feeling the absence of Bolter and Torado in this one for sure. Um, what, are you, what are your main takeaways? Yeah, I think you know missing some of those key players, a lot of the key players, even some of the substitutions, right? Cherlonoff and some of the other guys, it, it, there was nothing, not enough from us. Um, and some of the guys who did get to, a chance to get into starting eleven, maybe make a, a name for themselves, didn't do themselves any, anything good, right? Um, even the guys who have been notoriously good this season, Malik Tiao, did nothing really. Iden, poorest game he's had in a while, probably Malik Tiao as well. Oyan and Drexler were okay, I thought, but Drex or uh, um, Salazar started out well and kind of faded as the game went on. He had a couple moments, especially that goal. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't enough for us. And it's unfortunately the quality is a big thing right now. The difference between these two teams, the style of play, they play with intent, right? They they're moving around ball constantly, they're running around even with off the ball, and we're not. And I mean, it shows they're in first place by six points. 35 points and Darmstadt's in second with 29. And we're all we're only three points behind Darmstadt, but we're in seventh. And that's basically mid-table at this point. And you know, the two games left with Nuremberg and Hamburg before the winter pause, the team needs to show something because what we've seen up to this point is yeah, we can get results, but stylistically, we're not there. And it showed in this game, right? We get us shit has a way to that silence. Our goal is nice play. We rely overly on Oyan and Aiden and Taroda and Bolter. And when two of the guys aren't there, what are you going to do? And that's shows in this game. So, yeah, I think I would agree. I mean, we're getting, um, we're getting the right answer, you know, in the equation sometimes, but we're not often able to show our work, so to speak, yeah. as much as we need to. Like, I mean, yeah. And like you said, stylistically in terms of what's, what's what leading to some of these results, it's not, um, coming as a result of consistent control that we have over the match, imposing yeah. a specific style of play. Um, yeah, so we'll see where we go from here. Uh, yeah, I mean, Garazis is going to continue to be under pressure, I think. Um, crucial, crucial couple matches uh, to close out the first half as Rene joins the chat with, uh, he knows, he with knows. a resounding pain, which is accurate, of course. Um, yeah, like we said, you know, good to kind of get back and make it interesting in the last... 15 minutes or so, uh, but not nearly enough from us from the uh, preceding 75. Uh, disappointing, uh, poor, and uh, need to do better than that against, uh, you know, the big boys in the table if we're going to have a chance of uh, reaching promotion. So, Based on what we saw here, um, how confident are you in, in the two games with, with uh, Nuremberg next game and Hamburg following that we can get a result in those games? I mean, St. Pauli was pretty convincing. It was only 2-1 victory for them, but I thought they were pretty convincing, pretty dominant in this game outside of the last, you know, 20 minutes or so. Um, what are, what yeah, are no, the I mean, chances are? Some probably was good. Um, I, I, I definitely think so. And so, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get maybe the, quite that level of opponent in the next two matches. But, um, I mean, the absence of Bolter once again today, I think, was, was pretty massive. Uh, I mean, Sandhausen was one thing because it's a pretty poor opponent. Um, but, uh, you know, he was able to step up in the absence of Tirada there, but having both of them out at the same time, I think is, is difficult because also Bolter, Bolter provides more for you. Um, you know, not just what he does in the attacking there, but he drops a little bit deeper and gets involved, uh, you know, off the ball defensively, I think a little bit more. And I don't think right. once again, Dadashov and, and Piringer, um, I, I just don't think we're involved in this match. In, in any sort of effective way for, for most of the, the 90 minutes today. So um, hopefully we get at least, you know, I was, we know, we know Toronto's not going to be back until the second half of the season, but hopefully Bolter comes. I don't know what the prognosis was on him. I may have missed that, but um, yeah, I didn't see it either. yeah, hopefully that's not a long-term thing. We get him back for at least one of the two, you know, final matches of the year. If there's any glimmering hope here, as we wrap this one up, um, is that the next two opponents are within a point to combine one point combined, ahead of us you know we're tied with hamburg at, at current and nuremberg's one point ahead of us so there's that saving grace and so yeah the level of opponent is should not be as good i mean st Pauli seemed like the cream of the crop this season in terms of this fight the liga so yeah we have some real chances here hopefully we get some of these uh big guys back including especially bolter but if you know if we know we know we're not getting to Rota. uh but if you get bolter back get your off back and some of these other pieces we have a chance um, in those games, and it's going to be big games. We'll, we'll see what happens. Next game is on Friday against 
Nuremberg, so there will yeah, be but, no live no. stream. TikTok, TikTok. We got to be careful here. Um, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Going to be not a whole lot of games remaining. You know, we're going to blink and it's going to be fairly advanced into the second half. Let's see what Renee, what Renee's saying here. Yeah. Only game he won against the top third was Paderborn, yeah. and that was a shit house. Yep. And that's what we were saying earlier is just that, you know, um, we haven't performed particularly well against the better teams in the second division this season. Um, yeah. And at some point, if you want to reach promotion, you have to take points in those direct comp. Like we said, this was a you know promotion six pointer to some extent. If we consider ourselves in contention for that, and uh, you have to show up and you know directly take points away from the guys that you're directly p- competing with in the table, and we're not doing that so far uh, this campaign. Yeah. All right. Well, that'll put a bow on this one. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not the result we were looking for on a Saturday, but we have at least Sunday to get over our the misery of our loss, and then we'll come back. I guess maybe Monday or something with the podcast. So, uh, thank you to all those who joined us on the watch along today, helped in the uh, misery of Jack and I <laughs> on this Saturday. So, uh, Jack, where can our followers find you on social media? At J M Mangan, J M M A N G A N on Twitter. And if you want to follow me at R or R underscore. K H A R M A N. It's one of those names. I might just refer to you from now on. Who knows? Uh, all right, guys. Thank you again. And uh, we'll catch you on the next podcast. Juice.